Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I just want to do a little follow up on my do it yourself um, radio listening ham radio slash amateur radio window pass through. As you can see, I have it all set up now. I, I, I wood stained it first. I you know, I sanded it with an orbital sander, I wood stained it. And also added polyurethane coating on it. Actually, let me go ahead. The sun is hitting right there. And you can see it from right there. So I got right now, I got th I got four wires going in there. I got two LMR 400. I got this one right here from my MFJ T86 going in. That's an LMR 400. I got another LMR 400 right here. Sorry, lighting is so what the. So I got another LMR 400 right there. I don't like the zoom on this thing, it's crappy. And so you can see I got LMR 400 on this side also. That one is the end fed. And you can see the ethernet. Ah, oh, the sun is hitting right there. That is the ethernet. And I have another one that's coming from above. That's thin one there. That is a LMR 240. That is coming from my disco. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four wires going in there. And I have room for three to four more wires going in there. And I have that anchored into the window frame. Okay, so it looks pretty good. And of course, I'm going to seal the outside. Uh, I'm going to use uh, probably most likely plastic bags. I'll explain a little bit all about that when we go inside. So let's go upstairs and look at the uh, finished product from the uh, upstairs. So as you can see here, I finally secured it. I decided to go with the, uh, put the four screws. So I put one on each corner. Uh, I drilled a small pilot hole first into this metal frame. I already had a hole up here. I forgot for when I had the air conditioning up here. So and the next hole down there wasn't going to be a big deal. So I decided to go that way. It's going to be more secure. Um, I, I don't even have to rest the window on there. This is very secure. She's not coming out of here anyway. It's not bugged no, out. It's very secure. So I can rest the window on top of it like that. Okay. I also uh, stained it. Polyurethane coating also. So it's going to be good. It's, uh, I, I, of course, like I said, I sanded it down with a whole bottle sander and I also stained it. Um, I super glue the connection because actually I didn't need to take it out. So I super glued it because I don't have a, a pipe, what they call pipe dope. So I just use super glue. And as you can see, let me open the window. I'm going to show the outside view. As you can see, so you got an LMR 400 here. This is coming from the end fed. This LMR 400 is coming right there. Going up to that roof. That is the MFJ 86 That's in the chimney right now. And this thinner one right here is LMR uh, 240, excuse me. That is coming from my disco in the front of the house. And this white wire, of course, is my Ethernet. Let me close the window. Okay, it worked out very well. So you can see I got a few wires in here. Again, here, LMR 400, LMR 400, LMR 240, and the Ethernet cable, flat Ethernet cable. Uh, let me do this without hitting the camera button. Um, I still have a void. I could put, I have at least put one finger in there. I could, I could put two fingers in there. I did it before. It's just the angle that I'm in now. Basically, I have enough space for two to put at least two more or even three more coax. Uh, you know, not the, you know, the main thing is I wanted to get my both LMR 400 in there. So I got that. Mission accomplished on that. Big deal. That was a big deal for me. I needed my two LMR 400s to be in there. So now I have space for uh, two more wires. Basically RG8X. Uh, another LMR 240 maybe. And or one more SMA or even uh, two more SMA. So I could I literally have more than what I expected. Right now I have two, one, two, three, four. Um, literally I could put three to four more maybe. And then I would need a second one. So, working out well. I got all my, so I got my, my end fed to transmit. 
I got my VHF, that's the disc comb, and I got my MFJ 86 loop. The only one I need right now is the MLA 30, and maybe another antenna later on, but I'm good. It's very good. I'm very happy with the results. Okay, nice stain, solid. Um, it's good, you know, tie, you know, uh, put the tie wrap on it, wrapped it up real nice. And uh, of course, I'm gonna, you know, sort this out. Uh, I'm actually not gonna move that over here. This is gonna be, I'm gonna move this around a little bit. These are gonna be connected to antenna switches down there. Okay, one is gonna, one, the, each one is gonna have a dedicated antenna switch. And that'll take care of that. Okay, so this is the final uh, result of my do do yourself uh, list, radio listening amateur radio ham slash ham radio window pass through. Okay, so there you go. And of course, I got suggestions on how to fill up the void. Um, you can, you know, people told me you could use a, a, a dry sponge or something, uh, foam. In my case, I'm just going to use uh, regular grocery plastic bags. I have a bunch of them. I always keep them for, you know, my little waste baskets and all that. So I could just stuff a few, uh, few in there and that'll really seal the, the, so I don't get no critters coming in here, no bugs, nothing like that. Same thing on the other side, on the outside. Once I get my other two cables in here or whatever, my to, once I finalize it, I'm just gonna stuff it with plastic bags and whatever. That'll work for me. And then of course up here, I'm gonna put a block to secure it so this window does not open. Or well, you know, not in case anybody try to open it, which I'm up here in a second floor, but you know, I usually do that anyway as a precaution. So that'll take care of that security aspect of that. You just put a piece of wood over here, a block or something, anchor it into the wall. Nobody can open this window. And then up there, of course, I can secure it also. And that'll take care of that. Nobody won't be able to open this window from the outside. Not that it's going to, you know, you never know. You always got to be secure. And that'll take care of that. And, of course, in between here, um, I got several ideas too on that. And we just, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Between here, I got several, uh, you know, including your uh, foam, like a uh, pool noodle, I can cut and stuff it in there too, and all that. I like the pool noodle idea here too. Uh, that was, you know, uh, Dave recommended that. But I'm going to go with the plastic sponge, uh, I mean, plastic, plastic bags for here because, the, you know, it'll work for me. I used it before on a vent in the basement. I use a whole bunch of plastic bags because that way, you know, if I, if I want to remove, I just pull them out and that's it. Uh, the problem is if I use spray foam, if I put spray foam in there, I have to cut that out. It's going to get all over the wire. It's going to stick to it. It's not, it's not going to be pretty. I don't like that. I like the sponge idea, but I'm going to go with the plastic bags. I used it before. It worked for me. Okay? So, there you go. So, that is the finished product. Okay? You're, you're do it yourself. Window pass-through for your radio applications. From my second floor... Shack. Okay. And there you go. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and uh, share the video. And also, um, if you want to donate to the channel, you could uh, click on the super thanks. Send me any amount. It could be as low as a dollar. Doesn't matter. So I can do stuff like this, and it helps. It really helps the channel a lot. Also, if you see me on uh, live stream, you know, you can also uh, do a live uh, super chat on live on, on, when I do live stream. And also um, donate to PayPal, through PayPal. So there you go. All right. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.